Who is not looking good for the home team? This is the nation's largest credit unit that rejected more than half its black conventional mortgage applicants last year. Navy Fed has lending rules. We got to understand the rules of the game. And, and I would tell you from experience, you're exactly right. Like they check all the boxes and they were yeah. denied. And this is really serious. There's something else going on. And what did you think that something else was? Do you see this affect the Navy Federal for the long term. Them probably being lenient on the lending, mm. it's probably going to... Hey, what's going on, everyone? Calvin Russell here. Super excited to bring back one of our favorite guests uh, to the channel. Uh, of course, she needs no introduction. I'm sure many of you guys saw uh, some of the interviews that we've done in the past and her just giving her honest opinion on everything that has to do with credit unions. Uh, you know, as there's been a lot of stuff going on lately. So that is Star Knows Credit Star. How are you today? I am good, Calvin. What's going on? 850 Club Credit. How y'all doing out there today? <laughs> Man, they are doing amazingly well. But how have you been? Uh, we know, of course, uh, and if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys go ahead and check out her channel. She's most definitely been putting a lot more videos, uh, you know, that you guys of some information that you guys want to see. But Star, how have things been going with you so far? It's been busy. <laughs> Since being on your show back in June, it's been busy. Awesome. That's a good very, problem to have. Very busy. Yeah, it's a great problem to have. Very busy. All right. So listen, we know it's a lot of craziness right now going on. Uh, and I'm going to be honest. In my opinion, I didn't see that coming. Uh, but at the end of the day, a financial institution is a financial institution. And anybody can get it, as the old saying goes. Uh, but, yes. what is, but what is your take, honestly, you know, as a previous credit union manager, what is your take on uh, Navy Federal or just banks in general, um, you know, essentially coming out with reports, accurate or not accurate? Obviously, there's got to be some accuracy to it. I saw the CNN uh, interview as well. What are your thoughts on uh, Navy Federal denying so many uh, black and brown people? Who is not looking good for the home team? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right, for real. <laughs> that's first and foremost. It's not looking good for the home team. And, and really and truly, the guy that was in the original video, yeah. I would say that he was not the best person for that CNN report. Yeah. That, that's just in my humble opinion. Yeah. And because, and the reason why I say that is because, of course, Navy Fed cannot disclose his private information. All he's got was the, you know, his debt to income was too high in relation to his money coming in. Basically, that's what he was saying his denial reason was for. Yeah. You know, he was saying that, okay, he had the, had $100,000 down on the home. He also had over 700 credit score. But you got to understand he is a self-employed person. An exclusive reporting shows that Navy Federal Credit Union has the widest disparity, the widest disparity in conventional mortgage approval rates between white and black borrowers of any major lender. This is the nation's largest credit union. It serves military members, defense personnel, veterans and their families. And CNN's Renee Marsh found that it rejected more than half its black conventional mortgage applicants last year. But it really is a nice neighborhood, you know. Baba Tandi, a Kenyan immigrant turned Texas entrepreneur, knew this was his dream home the moment he saw it. It's in a highly sought after school district that his son so desperately wanted to attend for its basketball program. So how many homes did you look at before you found this one and said this was it? We had about six. But this was the one that we, we all wanted, and we were all praying to get this one. Otandi's first choice for his mortgage was Navy Federal Credit Union. It services military members, defense personnel, veterans, and their families, and is the largest credit union in the country. I was the CEO of my company, so I had a pretty good income. Your credit was in the 700s. Mm -hmm. You had recently sold your house. Mm -hmm. You had $100,000 for the down payment, which was more than 20%. Correct. I mean, what more could you ask for? CNN reviewed Otandi's financial documents. He even had a pre-approval letter from Navy Federal in hand, but just two weeks before closing. I got a denial. They sent me a letter saying, we are sorry, but your application has been denied. Were you st stunned, surprised? I mean, I was stunned. I was shocked. I was hurt. The denial letter listed excessive obligations in relation to income as the reason. When they denied is when we came back and said, oh man, there's something else going on. And what did you think that something else was? Discrimination. Mm. 
That's right. So we all, so any of us as business owners, we know how hard it is to get funding sometimes. And then you're trying to buy a home on the other side. So, you know, you got to check all the boxes. Can't nothing be, you know, up to any type of scrutiny when you are a self-employed person because they feel like a self-employed person is more risky than a w-2 wager you know so yep. even though they work for a business and can be laid off and all that stuff as well you know yep. but it's just how we think that if we working for this job we got more of a stable income whereas this guy could make whatever you know when you are a self-employed person your uh money is endless Correct. to what you can make versus to whatever your wage is per hour or salary or whatever is capped at that. But you know, Navy Fed, um, like you said, as a as a credit union employer myself, I, I look at it like this. Navy Fed has lending rules. Now, all credit unions gonna have lending rules and they have what they call a uh, credit committee. It's a separate board than the board of directors for the credit union because mm -hmm. all credit unions are nonprofit. So they usually have what they call a credit committee and that credit committee. What they do is they go in and they look at all the denied loans from the previous month. So it's like they meet up monthly and they look at all the denied loans for the previous month to see, OK, what it was that caused this person to get denied? Was there anything else that we could have did to get this person approved and to make sure that that number isn't crazy large, you know, as far as how many people were denied. OK, so yeah. I know that that is a thing. Okay. So but with Navy Fed being in the news now saying that they deny him uh, more than 50 percent of their a mortgage lending to uh you know black and brown people yeah. versus uh white people it it's really is um it's it's going to be one of those things we're just going to uh, uh see what happens yeah but with that being said being crump <laughs> is one of the lawyers yeah Wow. And I, if y'all don't know who Ben Crump is, y'all better go Listen. on Netflix and look at the documentary. Ben Crump that. is like the, yeah, Ben Crump is to. the, uh, yeah, he's he's like the Johnny Cochran of civil lawsuits. <laughs> yeah, of our time, for real. <laughs> yeah, of our time. Right? He's yeah. a Johnny Cochran of civil lawsuits. If you got something going on that you think is discriminatory, I mean, he did George Floyd, he did countless yep. other uh, lawsuits and stuff like that. So. Yeah. The two that actually did file the lawsuit, and I read that uh, article through CU Times, and I did a yeah. video on my channel about it. Yeah, they, from what I can see on paper, they check all the boxes. Yeah. No, uh, two hundred thousand dollar one of them, a couple two hundred thousand dollar income, veterans, no debt, yeah. great savings. Like they check all the boxes, and they yeah. were denied. And I saw another article saying that. Um, they have did a poll that there was at least like 22 veterans that they know that was denied. Wow. Yeah. And, and I know on my channel, a lot of people saying, well, they probably got denied because they were doing backdoor methods and See. scamming, scheming and all that type yeah. of stuff. So that's why I did that other video too. But it's, when you got people like this that are saying, no, this is not yeah. the case. I'm actually in the military because some people are saying, well, are they in the military? Because, you know, Navy Fed is for the military and their family, blah, blah, blah. So you got people that are saying that they are military. They check yeah. all those boxes and they still got denied. Yeah. Then that's when it gets a little, a little <laughs> sticky, a little, a little hairy. A little <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Listen, you know. no, listen, what, no, what, what you're saying is 100% true. And I want to and I actually want to take a step back a bit because I want to make sure people understand something. Um, we're not just giving our opinion. You know, this is Star who actually used to work at a credit union. I'm a licensed real, no, real estate agent, credit expert. So mm -hmm. with, I'm going to tell you this. If people don't get me wrong, just because somebody shows up on TV doesn't make things accurate. But right. just the fact that someone calls you out on it. Right. Mm -hmm. that, that's that automatically makes you look bad. That's number one. Number two, there have been people for whatever reason um, get denied for a mortgage. They not they not only do they not know why they got denied for that mortgage because they don't explain it to them for the most part. The, the issue is I've had people get denied with one lender and then taking them to another lender and they got approved. 
So it mm-hmm. does happen. Now, mm-hmm. when a person is self-employed, how they you know report their income, their taxes, that stuff does matter. It most definitely does matter. But unfortunately, um, Navy Federal, it's, it's not just this one person. I'll just put it to you like that. And there are going to be people that are unfortunately going to play the race card when it should not be played. But there are people who got approved. And mm-hmm. especially now, mind you, let's take another step back. Navy Federal is known for not only giving out high limit credit cards, but that's the purpose of the credit union is to be the, the one that approves a little bit more. The one that says, hey, I, you have the relationship, you know, with us. That's the purpose of me coming to you. Right. Mm-hmm. So we should be trying to brainstorm this. Not saying that they didn't. But when too many people say, hey, um, I got denied with them and I got approved with someone else, then it's it's like, OK, we need to take a deeper look into this because it's going to make you look like the rest of the banks that did this in the past. Yeah. And I agree, because like you said, the credit union is for your community and they're not the the big banks that are all about their uh shareholders and making sure that they get money and bank bailouts and all that stuff. The credit union has always stood for family, for the community, for helping to grow the community. So when you have a credit union, I don't care how big the credit union is. I mean, we know Navy Federal is the biggest one, but it doesn't matter. They still have the credit union tag on them, you know? And so you saying that this credit union out of the 50 largest lenders have not given money for mortgages, uh, to the to the black and brown community, yeah. you know, doing it the least amount. That's like, oh man, that's that don't look good. Yeah. But there is a, a a agency that, you know, when you're doing a a loan, you can't discriminate for race, age, sex, even marital status and stuff like that. But there is an agency that does require them whenever you're doing a mortgage right. to collect that information. You know, CNN. How did they get the information to know what those numbers were? Is this public knowledge? I don't know. Um, But if that is the case, Mm -hmm. then I'm pretty sure that there will be some further internal audits. It's probably going to come in from the NUCA and the NUCA guys is just like the FDIC for the banks. Mm. They are the insuring government body for the credit union. So when they come in and then you have all other uh, credit union auditors that come in, they're probably going to investigate this really, really heavy because because of Navy Fed being the biggest credit union, $168 billion in access, 13 million uh, members oh, of this yeah. credit union, they're going to really look at this. And and this is really serious. It's really serious. Do you see this affect the Navy Federal for the long term? I feel like people that are like me that may have not been with them as long would be easier to jump ship than ones that has been with them for 20 and 30 and 40 years that has done them right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, myself, I have not applied to get in a mortgage with them, so I have not gotten a denial from Navy Federal. So I can't say. But I know one thing for sure that the days of them probably being lenient on the subprime lending Mm. is probably going to tighten up. Mm. I feel that. I think those I think those days is going about to be over. Yeah. Because of the scams. Uh man. You know, you know <laughs> when I, I did that hat. video. Y- y'all go on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> when I did that compilation video, because of people going and getting car loans and they're giving them the check saying go get your car loan and they doing something totally opposite with it, mm. running up a whole bag and not paying them back. Yeah. Uh running up credit cards. Not paying them back because you don't care if it's charged off because you're going to go get your credit repaired, ain't Man, you? Man, listen. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I'm telling you, for real. Yeah. And I, t- and I tell people this all the time. They they think, okay, I have the charge off. I did this. Now I'm just going to get my credit repair. It's like, no, you have to stop the habit itself. Nobody's perfect, but you have to stop the habit itself because now you're going to make it more difficult. And not just Navy Federal. People are going to mm-hmm. make it more difficult for these banks in general to trust, you know, mm-hmm. because they're they're trying to make changes with credit bureaus and such. Uh, we saw that with the medical collections. Um, you know, mm-hmm. they've made four or five changes with the medical collections in the last two years. 
And right. now some states are saying we won't even put it on your credit report. So they're trying to make some changes with old laws or old rules, but we can't make it difficult for them to trust us. Don't get me wrong. I know because some people on my channel, they say, well, Calvin, listen, we can't trust these banks. I got you. I understand that. But unless you pay in cash, <laughs> we ain't got a choice. <laughs> a lot of cash. <laughs> for real. And look, and it's, and look, a lot of people on my channel were saying, well, Navy Fair, they love giving out depreciating things that you could do, uh, buy with depreciating assets. Or they don't mind giving you a car loan. They don't mind yeah. giving you these uh, high limit credit cards and stuff like that so you can uh, spend and over consumerism and all types of stuff like that. And I'm not going to say that that's not true, but I'm not going to say that that's just Navy Fed. Right. That's all banks. Yeah. That's all yeah. banks. They want you to get the credit card because, yes, if you carry your balance, you're going to uh, give them that interest and that's how they continue to operate that's how they make money you yeah. know they make money on those car loans they make money off those things they even make m money off those mortgages that's i mean right. 30 years yeah. For real. that's <laughs> you the know? biggest commitment that's the biggest commitment so we know we're going to keep that financial institution uh in and in, in, in running for at least 30 years yeah you know with all these mortgages unless they sell them off or something like that yeah. but the the thing is though with navy fed i feel like um it's just those numbers yeah and i just want to know how accurate those numbers are and like i said i'm pretty sure all the uh, governmenting bodies of the credit union that that does all the audits and all the checks i mean i've been through those audits when i worked in there for 15 years so i know when they come in they come in with a fine tooth comb they trying to find any holes and plug them up and all that type of stuff yeah. so um and you know all the numbers was from the lending from 2022 so i would be very curious to see what that looks like for 2023 next yeah. year you know when they when those numbers come in okay what was the uh denial rate for 2023 for black and brown community compared yeah. to 2022 but uh, but you know like uh some of the other uh uh content creators that do credit repair was saying that a lot of navy fed charge-offs are coming across their desk mm with very high limits yeah uh that they charged off so like i said i feel like subprime um in general it's gonna take a look yeah it's gonna take a little bit more than you just uh doing all the things that i tell you as a as credit union employee about having a relationship i feel like you're gonna have to go a little bit beyond and be <laughs> above yeah. and beyond as they say then just the relationship if your credit is not you know at least a 640 or above at least yeah, at least 640. Yeah. That makes sense. And you know what? To be mm -hmm. honest, um, that separates the people that are, when you really think about it, not just for credit unions, when they're building relationships, but we have to play the banking game. And when it looks like we have a step, up, we're like a step above, the, uh, ahead of them, I should say, um, or not trying to do the, you know, the right things, that's when, again, that trust comes in play. And it goes back into, okay, even though banks could almost do what they want to do, right? <laughs> it seems, mm -hmm. but like you said in the in, uh, in um, our first interview, that you have certain you have accounts with certain credit unions for certain reasons, and like you mentioned, just because you have Navy Federal and just because this happened, uh, no, are you getting what you what you want to get out of them? Don't get me wrong. I feel like you know not only have most banks have done something, but it mm -hmm. may not be the entire bank in general. It could be a branch. It could be you know that particular section. It could be a lot of different things. One thing for sure, um, mm -hmm. some people may not be looking to get a mortgage from them, but for the most part, there are many other products and things of that sort that not just Navy Federal has. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. but you no. Know, again, are you getting what you want to get from these credit unions uh, with your relationship there? So I think that most definitely plays a role. So um, what are your thoughts now on, um, you know, like just in general, just banking as a future, um, you know, with everything that's now going on? Uh, you know, do you do you see like with bank, a lot of this? Because uh, I, I feel like as YouTubers, as content creators, people go see the latest hack or the latest how to do this. Do you <laughs> see that playing a role in how banking is going to go moving forward or making things more difficult to get for people to get approved for like higher scores? And like you said, more than just a relationship. Well, as I had told um, on my video, where I talked about the lawsuit for Navy Fed. I told them, look, guys, 
even on my video where I said 100K approval, bad credit, okay, and I'm telling you this so-called hack, and I'm telling you, you know, to get the pledge loan and, and you know, get your, uh, put money in your savings account, you do the direct deposit, get your certificate and all that stuff. Yeah. That's not a hack. No, that's that's that, regular. That, yeah. That's called having a relationship with a credit union. <laughs> and that's what I told them. But I made a video last January where I said, this right here can help somebody with bad credit. And I had relationship banking. That mm. video got, I think, a hundred and something views. Yeah. But when I say mm. secret hack, yeah. to <laughs> and I'm talking about the exact same hey, thing. Hey. I'm trying to help y'all, okay? <laughs> but y'all don't want to hear when I say relationship banking. That just don't sound pretty. No, no, they want the drug. No, they want something that's on the edge. They want something like <laughs> secret. You know, but it's called having a relationship with a bank. But like you're saying now, I just feel like going forward, like you said, the future of banking, I feel like that your eye, more eyes are going to have to be dotted and more T's are going to have to be crossed when it comes to subprime lending. I feel like this is 2024 is the time to get your crap together mm -hmm. with your money sense because I tell anybody your credit profile equals your financial habits. That's right period. And we want the quick fix for every single thing. Mm, getting fine. your credit repair and not getting the education to not do it again because I understand, hey, I was 18 years old when they gave me my first Discover card and I ran it up because I did not understand how credit cards work. Yeah. I thought it was $500 worth of free money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's real. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling the truth. And I paid it off and then they gave me a, a 500 more, went to a thousand. And so I, I rinsed and repeated that until I couldn't do it anymore because of the interest rate. And eventually it got charged off by the time I was 22 years old. Mm -hmm. And I did not understand understand it and so if you're not getting the full education of understanding how your finances and everything plays a factor in that credit profile they're not just looking at your score they looking at the overall picture of what's going on in that credit profile especially when you're trying to get a, a, a home loan yeah. Mm. Okay. That's right. You might can put your stated income down to get that credit card, and you thinking because you doing it between one and three a.m. and you <laughs> <laughs> you getting the night hack. Stop, baby. Baloney. Man, listen. <laughs> they, they be doing any whatever it takes. They they gonna hear it. They gonna see it. They gonna like. I'm gonna try that. <laughs> And look, it's the funniest thing to me because people just play Navy Fed like like they just a bunch of dummies over there. They are $168 billion credit union. You don't think that they got everything in line, yeah. even if they're not there. Mm. They're like, oh, do it between this time and this time because then it's just a computer giving you the automatic approval. <laughs> Navy Fed did a video on their channel. Y'all go on Navy Fed's Listen, channel. They got some good stuff on there, man. For real. And they did a night hack video for y'all to, to tell y'all there is no night hack. Okay? <laughs> there is no night hack. It's not. <laughs> we telling you this. But yet y'all still believe in it. Man. Okay? Yeah. We telling you it's not. But I just feel like y'all gonna have to get y'all stuff together in 2024. And that means that you have to learn the basics of money i i recommend you see all these books behind me i recommend y'all yeah. start reading y'all some financial books mm. and learning what they don't want you to know about credit and how credit can help you but we already know credit can harm you but learn how credit can help you that's right you know, to get to build wealth, to um, to get to that, which I want everybody's talking, you know, that's been trending for years now, generational wealth and all Man. that and leaving the legacy and all those type of things. It's time to actually start reading and getting some real education. Stop trying to get to the easiest bag. Mm -hmm. Stop trying to get to the credit repair people. And mm -hmm. I'm telling you, if, if, if I did credit repair, I'd be a rich sister sitting right here. Because of all the emails that I get about, so do you do credit help repair? Me, please. Credit? Help me, please. No, I teach credit education because if I don't educate you, it's That's nothing right. stopping you from doing it again. That's right. You're not learning the lesson behind it. If I teach, 
teaching credit repair to me without education is just teaching you that you can screw it up and we can clean it up. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And that's what a lot. And you know what? I'm, I'm so glad you mentioned that because a lot of people, that's how that comes off. That's how like mm-hmm. they preach that. It's like, oh, well, don't mm-hmm. pay this. Don't do this. Right. And then they end up do- and they end up doing that. And like you said, in hopes to find, um, you know, someone that's going to say, hey, let me just pay you. You just make all this go away. And they, they're not mm-hmm. understanding that you still haven't learned how to build a relationship. You still haven't learned, you know, uh, how to avoid that going into the situation next time. You probably had an income situation, not a credit situation. There's so many ways that, that could be spun around. You know, and but like you said, that's what people are looking for. They're looking for that quick fix and they don't try to get the right information. And it's not everybody. We're not saying that. obviously people that are watching this video, no. they understand completely that. Hey, listen, I'm trying to do mm-hmm. things the right way. I want to be where I got goals. I'm trying to hit in 2024. How can I do this? I'm not trying to go with the hacks. <laughs> right. I'm not trying to go that route. Right. And, you know, and by mm-hmm. the way, too, guys, most of the time it's just that's just the title itself. You know, but the information is mm-hmm. good. If you if the if if you guys go to my channel or Star's channel or whatever, there are people who are out here honestly trying to help you, like literally trying yeah. to help you, not just trying to get a view or something like that. And there'll be a track mm-hmm. record, right? You'll be able to see what's going on, not just you know on the YouTube video, but there'll be a track record of the type of videos that we make in general, saying, "Hey, listen, I think this is something that you should know and that you could benefit from, so you can get out of your current situation." People don't want to, they associate doing things the right way with it taking a long time, you know? And so mm-hmm. people want to be able to say, hey, no, I want the shortcut. You don't get me wrong. There are some ways to do things faster, but everything's mm-hmm. not going to be perfectly set up like that. And you don't want to be right. like, again, you don't want to have a relationship like that. But you know what? We just got to keep doing what we're doing, Star. And the ones that, right. that need to get it, they'll get it, right? <laughs> they'll get it. they get it. But then in the same sentence, you're telling me that I got late payments, but how can I get this credit card? Mm. I got late payments over here. I need to get these late payments removed, but how can I get this? How can I get approved for this credit card? Or how yeah. can I get this? And I'm like, I can't tell. I, I mean, some of my clients will tell you, they're like, Star will tell you in a minute, you don't need no more credit. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. For That's real. That's the last thing you need. You don't need no more credit. Right now, you need to work on what you have and keeping it in good standing. And, let's, and, and like you said, that's why I did my finger like that earlier when you said you don't have a credit problem. You have an income problem. You have a mm. financial educational problem. Mm. And, it's, and, yeah. and all it is, 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 is just like I always say, it's just like... Uh, having a disease what is the root cause what is the root cause of your bad credit mm. what caused you to have bad credit because eventually either you didn't want to pay them or you didn't have the money to pay them you had That's all the, the intentions yeah. of paying them but you didn't have the money to pay them usually yep. it's an income issue or yep. living above your means issue that's right yeah you know trying to keep up with the joneses issue Man, that's you know it's, that played a role too. <laughs> that played a role yeah. because I'm sure you know? because like you said, you, you hit it, you hit you hit it right on the head a few moments ago when in 2020 where the the interest rate were a lot lower and then people had mm-hmm. a, a really a limited amount of things of what they could buy, but financing and buying wasn't was at an all time high, and now right. that those same items cost more than what they did before, and you don't have mm-hmm. the extra money now you've gotten used mm-hmm. to the steak and you say you know I'm tired of the shrimp. <laughs> but you finna go back, but you about to go to Roman noodles. <laughs> and listen, exactly. You, know, <laughs> you, you about to jump yeah. all the way down. Yeah. But and and but also people gotta understand this, you know, um, you know, back when we was talking about with the with the denials from Navy Fed with the yeah. with the home mortgages, we don't want what happened back in 2008 to happen again. Mm. Right. We can't just go. They can't just go out just giving home loans because oh, we don't want to look like that bank or that credit union that denies more black mm-hmm. lenders. Mm-hmm. Because we they did that subprime lending yeah. back then between yeah. 1994 and what it was 2007. They uh, 
people could have stated income and were getting homes that was half a million dollars or whatever. Yeah. They were they might have been a waiter at some bistro yeah. saying that their income was $150,000 approved just to get the house. <laughs> just to yeah. get the house. And and so they were doing all that that the the, the subprime uh, lending on those homes back then and and what happened with 2008 yeah. with the financial crisis. Yeah. And that was the government's way then of trying to correct a wrong with redlining yep. from Years. back in the day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that was their solution. Like, okay, let's help them. But you're not helping us if you're giving us uh, mortgage loans that we cannot afford to keep. And then it goes into foreclosure. Right. Yeah. But then the government can say, well, we we did our part. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we let y'all get it. We let we told the banks to to be more lenient. Yeah, you know, so yeah. that it wouldn't be this big of a gap of lending from the black and brown to the right. to the whites and the Asians or whatever, you know. So we they they're not going to do that either. They're yeah. not going to do that. They're not going to just give it to you because you're black. So I feel like if people thinking that oh they're going to wind up just because of this going on right now that they're going to start just approving people just to get out of this spotlight, that's not going to happen. That's right. It's, that's not going to happen either. Yeah. No, you you know, you, you know, you most definitely, uh, you know, wrap that up nicely. And that's the thing is that people have to understand that uh, one, there's more than just than just credit unions out here. That's multiple banks. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Number two, not every bank is going to approve you. OK, mm -hmm. uh, me being a real estate agent, there are people I have a lender for certain types of clients and another lender for different types of clients, just because it's not that this bank is racial like, like racially profiled or racist or something like that they have parameters and if you don't mm -hmm. meet those parameters no matter what color you are <laughs> you're mm -hmm. too risky for their loan type and that's right. what that is and of course we're going to always be biased and we're going to always feel like well why did this happen to me when guys sometimes it's right activity wrong bank okay mm -hmm. so just because you got denied from you know whether it's an auto loan a mortgage loan whatever just because you got denied from someone, if if it's not a legitimate situation or if you feel get a second opinion, you know, mm -hmm. it, it, no matter what that outcome is, you, you should say, OK, you know, what, I think I'm going to get a second opinion just so I know. Right. It's me. It's not the bank because it's discouraging. And I've seen I've seen the opposite happen, too, because it's such a great mm -hmm. area where people say, you know, well, I want to buy a house. I apply at this particular bank. I got denied at that bank. And now, since I got denied, I'm done looking. Like I don't want to do this process anymore. And we're not saying do that. I know things like stories like this may discourage you, but guys, there are way more banks out here. Just because it's the most popular bank on YouTube does not mean um, you know it's going to be the best one for you, whether it's mortgages or whatever. But do what's best right. for you, and don't just go off of something just because you saw someone give their opinion on it or do a video about it or whatever the case may be. It's got to make sense to you gotta make sense exactly exactly yeah. and i think that that's what it is you need to find and i've and i've said this several times you got to go with the financial institution that could that will fit your finan financial needs you don't have to put all your eggs in one basket we're not saying that you need to have multiple uh different financial institutions that handle your money because if one is uh whatever you know you might have one uh financial institution that you bank with that does not allow you to shop online they will shut your card down mm -hmm. you know you got something like that that'll lock it down because they are so scared of fraud but then you got this other financial institution like you might have wells fargo that's like okay they might send you a text ask you is this yours but then they'll let it go through <laughs> so it's it's yeah. <laughs> you know it's it's good to have your eggs in more than one basket that's right. and i will always say that if you were home shopping you wouldn't I would think that you would want to see who you can get the better rate with or, or the better terms with anyway. I wouldn't yeah. think that you would just go with Navy Fed. I think I would look at this credit union. And if I'm a member of that credit union, or if I'm a, if I have an account with this community bank or my a larger bank, I would look at different ones. And if you are shopping within the same window of time, it only looks like one hard inquiry as far as the impact on your credit score, because you're doing it in a short window of time. Right. Just like when you're car shopping, if you do it within like a short window of time, Amazing. I think it's like 14 days or something like that, then it only you might have all the different inquiries, but whoever you are looking at, they can see that you were house shopping or you That's were right. car shopping because of the name of the creditors that pulled your credit. And you can always explain that to them. Hey, I was 
looking at my home, buying my home at this time. And then once they see that you got the home loan, they're not worried about those inquiries at that time. You see? Right. Yeah. So I think a lot of people don't want their credit pulled. They don't want their credit pulled. But but you need to shop. It's just like, OK, if you go to the doctor and this doctor tell you that you have cancer, are you not going to go get a second opinion? Listen. <laughs> you better get that second opinion. <laughs> okay. Are you not going to go get the second opinion? That's right. You got to go get the second opinion. Yeah. So if this if this uh lender right here says no, we can't, then there's a lender out there that that may say yes, we can. But will that lender have crazy terms? Will they interest rate be crazy? You know, it's yeah. kind of like getting your loan uh getting your car loan from your credit union and then going to a buy here pay here place well yeah the buy here pay here place will probably get you the car but the interest rate you probably buy that car and another one that's right so it's <laughs> for real listen <laughs> you pay I, for I that one, a note, you don't pay for two <laughs> yeah so i think in like sometimes we just got to pump the brakes and, and, and stop yeah. trying to get that instant gratification sometimes you got to take your time like you say we we want it now and sometimes you're not ready for it now maybe that might be you know i ain't gonna get religious on y'all but maybe that's god way of telling you that you don't need it right now Mm. and you need to keep saving and and get your stuff together a little bit so when you do get it you can keep it that's right man see Whatever that sad thing is, that car, you know, yeah. if you wait and maybe you pay off some of your other bills and the only bill you have is your car payment, then you'll be better, you know, fit if you don't have a bunch of credit card debt over your head. That's or right. when you're trying to get your home loan, you pay off all your credit card debt, you don't have a car payment anymore and the only thing you have is your home loan, well, you look even more favorable because you don't have a bunch of debt. Yeah, absolutely. See? You know, so sometimes you just got to take the time and get yourself right. You know, yeah, absolutely. You know what, though, Star, is that um, that's and that's why we had to have you back on the show, because not only because you keep it real, (laughs) uh, but people need to hear, you know, an expert opinion uh, because they're just thinking, okay, some of these people are feeling lost and they're feeling like, okay, I'm I'm waiting on someone to give me the right information. It's like, well, a lot of times it's the unpopular. It's the road. Let's take it. It's the unpopular route. It may be the unpopular video. Right. But mm-hmm. that's where the real gems are for long. That's where the nuggets. Absolutely. Every time. That's where the nuggets. Yeah. Every time. Every time. You know, so well again, Star, thank you so much. We wanna uh, you know, thank you for just taking out the time away from your business, your family, um, your own channel, uh, you know, pouring into the audience, you know, um, as usual. And um, again, guys, make sure you guys go ahead and check out a lot of her videos. She doesn't just talk about Navy Federal Credit Union, it's a lot no, of I other don't. <laughs> I'm As tired well. of talking about them. <laughs> but I do want y'all guys to go to y'all local library and check out this Ooh. book right here. Okay, what's that? How the Other Half <laughs> Banks. Mm. Huge. Huge. What's some tips that you got from that from that book, Star? What you got out of that? Book? It's just giving you the history. And she's wrote two books. Her name is, uh, I can't pronounce that. Okay. But I'm going to yeah. put it up on that screen. Hopefully y'all can see it. Yeah. But, um, just knowing the history of it and if you just know the history of how um especially for the black and brown people if y'all want to know where we started to where we are now then you would know that there are some racial things out there but if you knew from way back then from when your great grandparents and all that stuff what they had to go through then you'd be like nah this is this is not that yeah Mm. this this just be this may just be that we need to get our stuff together yeah. Stop looking for the quick fix. Let's get some education. Absolutely. You hit around the head, Star. As always, well, thank you so much for being here. We greatly appreciate you again. And of course, until next time. All right. Y'all have a wonderful one.